I'm Phil Wago. They call me the liar. I play the role of the principal in the town school. A beautiful, amazing story. Thank you. And action. Good afternoon, Africa. I'm on the set of the town school, and with me here is Phil Wago, director Phil. Okay, okay, Phil, Mr. Phil. Yeah. So, what's your character name? Yes, I'm playing the principal okay. of the town Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So, I would love to uh, today's topic. Actually, it's about corruption in education sector, and I would love to pop a question. Are you ready? Oh, well, I fire straight. Up. <laughs> okay. So, um, how would you explain corruption in education sector? Yes, I think. Corruption, in my own view, is a hydra-headed monster hmm. that threatens to tear the fabric of our very existence. There's this normal saying that children, the youth are the leaders of tomorrow. But when corruption eats up their mind, they become nothing more than walking corpses. Certainly, that's not the kind of future we intend to have. So the education know. system, our institutions of learning, should be a place where the future leaders are molded to become vibrant, human beings in the future, but what do we have today? Walking skeletons, is that sad? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, what would be your take back home lesson concerning the prevention of corruption in education sectors and the factors to consider while um, choosing a strategy for anti-corruption in education? Good. For me, I, what I would take home, especially from this week, is that the worst thing you can do to any society It's safe to say that this movie is like a satire. Oh, most definitely. Okay. In the middle of the society, most perfectly. We see in this interplay of characters, we see young, vulnerable youths, especially the young female child, okay. being double, harassed, threatened, and sexually exploited. These are our future mothers, for God's sake. These are our future fathers. And they are being threatened by those who should be a good example. Thank you.